Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Telusco Learnings and in this video tutorial we're going to be continuing with our DOM manipulations and we're going to be taking a look at two different events that happen on the HTML document which is known as mouse over event and mouse out event. So in this video tutorial we're going to be doing a little bit of different thing that is we're going to be manipulating images. So before we actually get into that let's actually create an image tag and we'll see what the output is. So to create an image tag in HTML you write img and then you give the source so for that you have to use the tag src and in the double quotes you have to give the location of the image we'll come to that in a minute close the image tag and you can go to your folder wherever your default.html document is so this is our default.html and you can see i have two images one is the logo of telesco learnings one is the logo of simple snippets so right now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to write simple snippets dot png so immediately you can see in the output I'm getting an image but it is too large so let's add a width. So I'm going to say width equals to 300. So this is 300 pixels and now the image is pretty much fitting into our web browser. You can see it over here. So what I did is I just gave simple snippets dot png which is the name of the image file. It is a png file if you hover on it you can see png file and its size and the name is simple underscore snippets. Okay, so if it would have been in some other folder, let's say if you have one more folder over here and I'd say IMGS and let me just put it inside this. Immediately you can see the output is gone because now that image is moved inside the images. So to reference that you have to say images and slash and there you go again you get the output. Okay, let's do this for Telusco logo also. So now we are going to be looking at two different events mouse over and mouse out. So what we want to do or want to achieve in this video tutorial is when we hover on this simple snippets logo that is this image it should change to telesco learnings and once we hover out of that image it should come back to simple snippets. So this is where two different events are called. So mouse over means when you hover over a particular element in this case it is a image it can also be a paragraph it can also be a division it can be any html element when you hover on that element this mouse over event is by default called and when you hover out of it the mouse out event is called okay so we can address these two events in the javascript right now when you hover nothing is happening because you are not coded anything in javascript which links to those events so let's actually create those events i'm going to say on mouse and you can see we have different options right now we are interested in on mouse over so when you hover on the image something should happen and that something can be defined in a function in javascript so that's what we've been doing in the previous videos so here I'm going to say set new image and this is a function which we have to create in the javascript right now we have not created it and then we also have one more event so you can have two or multiple events associated with the same tag. So the next event is on mouse out right. So this event happens when you move outside the image okay or outside that element. So here I'm going to say set old image. So we have created two functions but we still have to define them in the javascript so let's do that in the script tag. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to say function space set new image similar to that I'm just going to copy this I'm going to say function space set old image and now we have to do something inside this so first let's check if this events are getting called or not so inside the set new image I'm just going to say alert and let's see when you hover on the image do we get the alert box so there you go you can see as soon as we hover we get the alert box so which means that our on mouse over event is happening perfectly fine and it is calling this method set new image which is why we are getting this alert box similarly let's cut this and paste it over here so now if i hover on it nothing is happening but if i come outside or remove that cursor away from the image we are getting that alert box which means that on mouse out is also working perfectly fine so now let's get ahead with the actual coding what we want to do is we want to address this image tag so we have to access this image tag in the js so we have to use the document.get element by id so let's first give it an id i'm going to say id equals to img1 in the set new image i'm going to use document.get element by id so that's how you access individual elements with unique ids here the id is img1 and what we want to do is once we get that element object that is the image tag in an object form in javascript we have to access its src attribute so this is the attribute and here it is a property so we have to change this and we have to change it to what images slash telusco learnings right so i'm just going to copy this images slash simple snippets and change the name over here to telusco so telusco is the file name of 
the second image you can see over here telusco it is also a png so this one line of code should be doing our job perfectly fine let's actually go ahead and test it out it is going to give a semicolon over here and let's see if this works okay so there you go you can see we've changed the image just by hovering on it now if you hover away from it nothing is happening because we still have to add functionality to this set old image so this is called when on mouse is evoked that is when you come outside the image right so let's just copy this one line and paste it over here and instead of telusco i'm again going to say simple snippets make sure you type the text properly you don't make a mistake in typing the name of the image because then you will not get the image this is some regular typing errors we do a lot when we are beginners and now let's see if this is working so when i hover we get telusco when i hover out we get simple snippets so you can see both these functions are called on their respective events so that's how you link the events to the javascript functions and then you can access the individual elements now again you can do this on buttons also on button click or some other events which we will see in further videos but this was just two new events which is on mouse over and mouse out so a very basic use case of this on mouse over and on mouse out can be compared with youtube you know so when you are on youtube when you hover on thumbnails you see the image is changing right and when we again hover out that is when the on mouse event is called you get back the original thumbnail so this is similar to that kind of functionality not exactly that but something like that and yeah that's it for this video guys i'm going to wrap it up over here this was just two new events and manipulation of images in a sense and that's it for this video guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends let me know in the comments how this video was and see you guys in the next video peace